I'm an intuitive extrovert, and I never started a project that I ever finished. Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're talking about the 16 personalities before and after they had therapy. And I had the 16 personalities reveal their most shocking, honest confessions about themselves. And then we sat down and worked through it. And afterwards, you're going to be shocked by the results. The 16 personalities became a lot more healthy and a lot more well-rounded over time. And that just shows that you're not a walking stereotype. So let's find out what the 16 personalities are like and what problems they might go through. And then after that, let's talk about how they could fix them. I'm a feeling judging type. I give inspiring answers that don't really relate to the question that you asked. I'm a sensing extrovert. I'm quick to act, but I never really know why I do the things that I do. I'm a thinking extrovert and vacation I'll rest when I'm dead. I'm a feeling extrovert, and every single person I meet is my next best friend. I'm a feeling introvert, and I rehearse confrontations with people for days. I'm an introverted thinker. I have the most brilliant solutions to problems, but I can't explain them to other people. We're sensing introverts, and if it's not on the list, I'm not going to do it. We're intuitive judgers. We know everything about our future, but we have no idea what to do today. I'm a sensing judging type, and my calendar is full to the end of next year. I'm a thinking judging type, and I don't care if it looks good, as long as it works. I'm an intuitive perceiving type, and I have an idea, but also another idea, and then another idea, and I have no idea which one to pick. Hey guys, I'm Sean, and I'm awesome, and you know, I always like to have something to do, and you know, the thing is, I'm so busy all the time, and the truth is, I realized I don't need to stop, I can keep going forever. Life should be fun, not serious. I'm a thinking perceiving type and I made a pro con list for why it's good to make pro con lists and seems like there's arguments both for and against. I'm a feeling perceiving type and I'll spend two hours if I have to looking for that perfect font for my emails. I offer monthly coaching where you have the opportunity to talk about and to share some of the things that you go through in life and to get insight and advice into your personal situation, personalized to your personality and your unique development. Get the chance to get to know yourself better, find out what personal type you really are and take the time to invest in yourself and your own performance success in life. Check out my coaching options in the link down below and before that, let's get on with the video. You know what? I'm an intuitive extrovert and after I started learning project management and prioritization, I've gotten a lot better with follow through on the projects that I work on. I'm a feeling judging type and lately I spent a lot more time getting and doing proper research and because I started doing more proper research the accuracy of my content has improved and I feel that I'm genuinely more helpful to other people than I used to be. I'm a sensing extrovert and lately I started assigning days where I just spend time writing and journaling and it's helped me get a bit more clarity into my life and why did I do the things that I do. I'm a thinking extrovert and I realized I don't want to die when I'm 50 so I've gotten a lot better uh, about planning and rest and I realize now that when I rest I can perform better in the longer perspective. I'm a feeling extrovert and lately I've gotten a lot better at judging people's characters and thinking about what I want in my life and it's helped me connect more with and to find people that really fit with who I am and what I need in life. I'm a feeling introvert and lately I've taken some classes in improvisation and in being assertive and being on stage and now I feel a lot more comfortable standing up for myself around other people. I'm a thinking introvert and lately I spent more time on 
coming up with ways to make nice charts and diagrams and to help people better understand what I do and why I do the things that I do and how beneficial it can be to the world. I'm a sensing introvert and lately I've gotten a bit more open-minded to other things that are happening around me and I've learned to let go sometimes of what's going on inside to try to think of and to be more playful and flexible to others' ideas. I'm an intuitive judging type and I started creating some daily habits to make decisions easier for me so that I can avoid analysis paralysis and focus on my long-term goals. I'm sensing judging type and I've learned to plan in for more free time and open spaces because sometimes that allows new and surprising things to come into my life that could help me grow as a person. I'm a thinking judging type and while I like things to be fast and quick to be done, I've started investing a little bit more into a nice presentation. I've learned that it makes people a lot more open to my ideas. I'm an intuitive, I'm an intuitive perceiving type and nowadays every time I have an idea, I leave a noise voice message to myself so that I can remember that idea for later. Hey guys, it's Sean. And the truth is, you know, I've learned that it's okay to stop once in a while and to think about where you're headed in life and where you're going and why you do the things that you do. And uh, life's not a race. I'm going to live a long, healthy life and I'm going to make sure that I make the most of the time that I have. I'm an intuitive introvert and after I set a two hour daily outside goal, I've gotten a lot more, uh, more energy into my life and I feel that I'm able to put together my ideas with more clarity in the real world. I'm a thinking perceiving type and while I love accuracy, I think sometimes in the moment you just have to learn to listen to and trust your gut and it's always okay to think later about if it worked or not and to adjust your course as you go. I'm a feeling perceiving type and while I value beauty and aesthetics, I recognize when it's important to meet a deadline on time and to not take too long on something. Sometimes you do have to put together progress in the moment and you can always work on your delivery for the future. So that's it. That's the video. If you want more videos like this, feel free to leave a comment down below and if you found any of these examples particularly relatable, let me know in the comments down below which of these topics did you relate to the most and what do you think the solution is to your struggle in life.